Hey, it's been a while. Welcome back to this new video. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to store multiple meshes in one model. So like, you can have an unmasked, ver unmasked version of Gwen and a masked version of Gwen, Stacy, Spider Gwen. Let's do it. So first you have to know how to import your models, of course. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, you can just look it up, like uh, how to import Fortnite models. Should be pretty easy. Anyway, import your model with all the necessary meshes or the meshes you want. Uh -oh. So now we have all our meshes in here. It looks a bit messy right now, but we'll fix that real quick. Let's join these all together. There we go. Control J. Now we join the armature together in the same order. That one, that one, and that one. Join. And it should be working right now. So yes, that does that. I'll text you this real quick and then I'll come back to see the difference better between the two edit styles. So what we can do is make another group here in the vertex groups and call it style switch or something. Stool switch. Uh, it doesn't matter what you call that. Uh, and what you do then is, it's, it's very easy actually, you know, you just select like the, the parts that are uh, going to be in the other style, like this one and this one and this one here. Like I, I selected this one by pressing L and hovering over it. Uh, and you assign it to the style switch into that group you just made. Uh, we go out of it out of edit mode and uh, we, we make a mask modifier modifier and look at our look for our style switch our stool switch boom uh, that doesn't look like much uh, because this is actually the wrong way around what you want to do is select this little thingy boom wow and now yeah it, it works damn now what you want to do is make another one of this group uh style two i think that's a, just a, an easier name so if we, we can just call this one style one and this one style one as well there we go and in style two we're gonna have the other style uh, as you might have already guessed <laughs> so we select uh the other one this one and that's it okay and then we assign it to the style two group Go out of edit mode, go back, add another mask modifier, and then we'll do the style two and invert that selection as well. So now we have a headless model left and you can switch between these, of course, but uh, we want to have like a button that switches between these very easily. And to do that, we can add a custom property in here like this and set this one to integer and call this one style switch. So this one we do call style switcher. It, doesn't, it really doesn't matter what you call it. Now what we do is copy this, copy this new driver. We go in here, hover over this little icon here and just paste the driver and do that for this one as well. Now we can do the same thing here, but only do it for one, for uh, this one. And now we'll edit it, edit it. Uh. Type in X or just a multi multiply symbol, I don't know, the star, little star thingy, uh, and then minus one plus one, boom. And now what we can do is just copy this driver and paste it there, and now you have a switch. Look at that, boom, 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 boom. And that's basically it. Now do remember that this switch only works when you have the mesh selected, so uh, when you have the armature selected, it goes away. However, if you have, if your skin has more styles, then it's a little different. Say your skin has three styles. What you do in this case, I, I need you, you to be a bit creative because uh, I don't want to <laughs> import a skin with three styles right now. Uh, so basically what you do is go into this little settings icon and turn this up to the amount of styles you want to have. Like if, if it has three styles, you, uh, you would set it to two <laughs> uh now now you can put this one to two or in it to yeah up to two and down to zero okay so say our third style has something to do with uh gwen doesn't have hands or something like wow and then we we would make another group call it style three assign that 
make another one of these masks and select our style three. Now we can't just copy this one over because that just wouldn't work. What we do in this case is, well, we do actually copy it over. Uh, we, we paste it and now we're gonna type a little bit more of a specific command, which is going to be zero if style switch double equals two else one. Boom, that's a bit of a weird command. Anyway, as you can see, when we switch these, it only turns purple or it only goes away or goes, yeah, go, goes away when we have it set to two. Uh, and we can do the same thing for this. So we will copy this over to this one as well. And we'll copy it over to, to this one as well. And we'll edit it here. And we'll set this one to the edit style one. There we go. Now, as you can see, it works. Wow. Okay, so the arm thingy might have been a bit weird, but I hope you understand what I meant here. <laughs> anyway, that's been it. Thanks for watching. It's been a quick one, and I hope I'll see you next time.